Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a weekly reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of June 8th through the 14th. Keep in mind the timing is still fluid, the days could be off, whatever. This reading may or may not be for you. We're just going to see what I get for that week, okay? June 8th through the 14th, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? I have opened more slots in my schedule. Just let you know. What do we have for Pisces? The link is below if you want to book. We don't want all of those, but karma came out. So there could be something going on here. Um, there was a couple. I didn't want to take more than one. So that was in reverse karma. So it might not be good karma. So something could be happening very karmic this week. I'm sorry, but... We didn't take it. We put it back. So we'll see what else comes out. What do we have for Pisces? Control. Ooh. Something about control. Now, Cancer had this as well. You may be dealing with a Cancer. You may have Cancer in your chart. Does may not have anything to do with a Cancer. But control. This is somebody that is being controlled. Okay? There's some puppet strings here that need to be cut. We have a person that is under another person's control. And uh, that is not healthy. <laughs> it's not healthy. So this is a week of uh, being controlled perhaps by something other than yourself. Okay? Things may be out of your control this week. Let's see what we got. Somebody may be trying to control you. You may be trying to control them. Um, That's a puppet, right? Being somebody is is being a puppet. What do we have? Or something is out of your control. What do we have for Pisces for the week ahead? Monday. Hmm. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we got three, and Sunday. Overall energy for Pisces for the week ahead, please. Knight of Cups reversed. Now the Knight of Cups reversed is... Uh, a relationship that you know isn't going in the right direction okay somebody's not expressing their love they're not giving their love they're not being genuine they're not being real um, could be looking for love uh, desperately and not getting what you need this could be somebody that is desperate for love um, emotional shutdown it could it could be a very emotional week put it that way um, Somebody's emotional needs may not be being met. Um, somebody may not have the best of intentions here. Uh, this is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in general, but it doesn't have to be. This is this is an energy of lacking in the love arena. Uh, not really emotionally available. Secrets. There could be some secrets. It could also be a very intense... Uh, sensitive time okay maybe you are feeling a little closed off emotionally or you're needing to express your feelings this is lack of feeling you know needing to express your feelings so somebody may need to express their feelings Monday, Two of Swords, or oh, I says Spears, it's actually the Wands, it's Two of Wands, and then Three of Swords, so this is needing to make a decision, okay, this is, a, this is the moment of decision, do, and this could, th these readings can go vice versa, okay, so that your, your question, you've got a person in mind when you're watching this reading, so this reading, I could be talking about them, I could be talking about you. This is a moment of decision. We have an individual here that is thinking. They're thinking about, maybe they're thinking about getting married. Looks like she has a wedding dress on. Or they're thinking about their future. There's a level of indecision uh, at that crossroads. Need to make a decision. 
on Monday. But this is, and this is leaving the past hurts behind, forgiving, healing, moving forward. So on Monday, we have an individual that is thinking about leaving the past hurts behind and moving forward. There's an opportunity to heal with the Three of Swords. Uh, but that will that will involve uh, making the choice to step into or out into the unknown and out of the comfort zone. Um, this is on the path to recovery. The Three of Swords is on the path to recovery. The, uh, to recovery, the decision is being made. So somebody is making a decision to heal a partnership because this is two. So this is healing over a painful situation. Something happened. Maybe there was a relationship that went south or something like that. And this is healing. So this is healing from the pain. Uh, making the decision to focus on the future. Leaving the past hurts behind. So Monday somebody is leaving the past hurts behind. And they are focusing on the future. Tuesday. This is the decision making day. Where the decision is made. We're going to move forward. We're going to leave the worst behind. We're going to heal this situation or I'm going to heal or something like that. This is recovery. Cooperation. Deciding to move forward on Monday. Tuesday, page of coins and nine of wands reversed. So... Tuesday, the page of coins is a golden opportunity. It's an opportunity to start fresh, to go down a new path and lay a foundation, setting goals, uh, putting in effort, determined to be successful, investing. Somebody is investing in their future. They're they're gonna they're gonna prove themselves. They've they're, they're, they've made a decision over here on Monday and they're stepping onto that path. But they're still expecting trouble. So this is expecting trouble. Great personal fear, but doing it anyway. So Tuesday, somebody may be feeling fearful with the Nine of Wands reversed. They may be feeling distrustful, maybe even overwhelmed. There's been so many battles in the past. Maybe thinking, I failed so many times. Why is this going to work now? You know, there could be some... Um, need to really be grounded and to not give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. This page of pentacles doesn't give up. This is determination. Following through even though it's not easy. You know, it's challenging. Somebody is facing some challenges. And I think they faced these challenges in the past. So I think Tuesday is going to be a day of overcoming your past mistakes and following through even though it's not easy. This is a golden opportunity that could grow into something solid and stable and secure. But it's going to be... It's going to be a challenge. It is going to be a challenge because the Knight of Wands is about wounds. It's somebody that has been wounded time and time and time again. And when somebody has been wounded over and over and over again, they have a hard time trusting. So you may be dealing with somebody that doesn't trust uh, or you may not trust. But follow through will prove that you know this is going to be successful. So I think Tuesday... Maybe a challenging day as you're taking steps down that new path. You may be, you may come up, up against some roadblocks, right? You may be coming up somebody who has their guard up. You know, they try to push you away, or something like that. But you will just need to be determined to prove that you aren't going to quit. You're not going to give up. So uh, Tuesday looks like a day where you are actually taking steps. You're taking steps. You're laying a new foundation. Um, you're investing even though uh, you may be feeling like somebody is refusing to compromise. You may be dealing with somebody that's refusing to compromise with you. Somebody that is very stubborn. And the reason that they're doing that is because they've been so wounded. They have their guard up. You're dealing with somebody who has barriers. Whether it's you or them, so on, on Tuesday you're going to be dealing. You're going to be needing to follow through, and uh, do your best to help somebody let their guard down. Okay, somebody. This is a guard. This is a guard. You've got somebody here that is very, very, very guarded, and I think that you will need to, you know, put in a little bit more effort. The Page of Pentacles is about. 
doing it, not giving up. Nine of Swords. Oh my God. So the Nine of Swords is, is somebody that is very, very stressed out, very stressed, very worried, extremely worried. On Tuesday, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, we have an individual that is worried. They are anxious. They are fearful. Extreme fear. But they're looking for some... This is commitment. The Page of Pentacles is commitment. So as long as you are committed to helping this person overcome their fears, uh, I think they probably will. King of Coins could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female. This person has a lot to offer. This person has a lot to offer. Very business oriented, very loyal, very steadfast. Um, is holding on to their own. This person has the Midas touch. Um, has money, perhaps. You may be dealing with somebody who has money, somebody that is um, very grounded, may seem like they're, they're very much focused on their money, focused on their business, focused on, and maybe it's you. This is somebody who's very focused on their, their financial success. There could be a new doorway or a new avenue opening for you on Tuesday that could bring you some money. Maybe you've been anxious about your money or you've been anxious about your stability. I feel like um, there is an opportunity here to, to grow financially. Tuesday, um, you may be dealing with somebody who has an opportunity for you, but for you to get that opportunity, you're going to have to prove to them that you are not going to give up, that you are going to follow through with this, you know, that you have the skills to, that you're not going to hurt them, you know, that kind of thing. So you may be proving yourself on Tuesday. I'm just telling you what I see. Um, the King of Coins is somebody that is um, very practical, male or female, very cunning, very clever, very business business oriented, very stable, very solid, very um, real. Okay, this person doesn't play games. Isn't isn't into uh, rushing into things. Likes to go slow. Builds strong foundations. You know, over time. So I think that you, if you, if you, you're gonna have to invest. So on Tuesday, you're gonna be investing in a solid opportunity, but it ain't gonna be easy. So you're probably gonna be facing some sort of. Uh, you may be thinking, oh, I regret this, or I don't want to have to prove myself, or whatever. But this could lead to something long-term. It could lead to something stable. This person has a lot to offer. Very, very comfortable. They can make you comfortable. can bring you some sort of comfort. So Tuesday, you're going to be, it's like trying to, you may be trying to sell yourself to this person, whoever they are. Um, could be a business owner or a boss or something like that. So Wednesday, Six of Cups reversed and the Knight of Coins reversed. So the Six of Cups reversed is freedom from obligation, packing up and leaving home. Nothing stays the same. Leaving the past behind. The, knight, the King of Swords reversed is an abusive individual. Somebody that is abusive mentally, verbally, very controlling, doesn't listen, will not, nothing to negotiate. There's no negotiating with this person, packing up and leaving, packing up. And I'm not sure if this is job related, um, but this is being freed from obligation. There could be some words. Somebody says something that gets them in trouble. Okay, so somebody decides to retreat. They decide to, uh, and it could be at work. I don't know who it is. Somebody could... Um, it feels like they're saying something. They're saying something that they shouldn't be saying. It could be a child. It could be a child or somebody that is young or somebody from your past, even with the Six of Cups. But the King of Swords in reverse is, is somebody that is um, mean, 
Okay, this person is mean, they are hard, they are selfish, they are uncaring, they don't think before they talk, they are abusive. You're this and this isn't an individual, it's not just an energy. So you on, on Wednesday you're gonna be dealing with some sort of abusive situation and whether you're saying something that you shouldn't say, you know, that hurts, the, the words hurt. This is hurtful words that that causes somebody to uh be freed from their obligation or to walk away or to uh, retreat per se. Um, there could even be some child abuse here. I don't know what it is. Um, the lovers. So Wednesday is about the lovers. The lovers is a choice, an unexpected choice in love. Coming together with somebody that you are divinely connected to you may be you know embracing somebody that or the person that you're dealing with is i don't know how this resonates with you but this is a choice somebody is making a choice to go with you know a lover okay somebody that they have a divine connection with so there could be some words that are said maybe it's with an ex maybe it's with somebody from your past that says you know i can't believe you are doing this or you know it's hurtful it definitely is hurtful with the king of swords reversed there is an unexpected choice in love that is leading somebody in a new direction this is a perfect union it's a contract but there's also consequences so there is definitely a healing love here somebody is has chosen to move forward with a healing love and in the process, there's another, I don't know if it's a child or a, uh, somebody from the past that is probably going to say something that hurts, okay? There's some hurtful words here because there's like a reunion with a soulmate. So I think Wednesday is about love, but somebody may be jealous, they may be not happy, or they may just not like what you're doing. So I think there's going to be somebody that says something um, that you don't agree with. Um, this person is, it's mental abuse, it's verbal abuse, it's, this person is opinionated, it's just their opinion, you know, their, their opinion doesn't matter, all right, uh, the lovers is, is, is a commitment, I think that you are committing yourself to somebody, and whether it's, it's children, and it could be children, it could the other, be the other person's children that don't like it, but when it's, when, but whatever, it's when, it, when it's love, it's love, right, so Wednesday, there's there's a connection, um, a love connection, where two people are actually going to be basically in each other's arms, and you may not like it, or somebody else may not like it, but it is what it is. So there's a there's a soulmate um, embrace on Wednesday. Ooh, Thursday, the tower. So the tower is a rude awakening. It's upheaval. It's chaos. Light being shown on a situation you never saw it coming it has to do with the home uh, a foundation definitely with the ten of coins in the tower card thursday is um a shake up in the home okay but it looks like it's very comfortable um but tower typically isn't very comfortable this is a life change it's a major life change somebody could explode somebody could explode because uh, whatever happened over here, you know, they're not happy. There could be some sort of explosion or a rude awakening. Somebody's getting a rude awakening. This is a shock. Thursday, there's going to be a shock. There's going to be a disruption at home or at work. I have to be honest with you. Everything looks good. You know, it's very bountiful. It's very comfortable. And boom, here it comes. So I'm sorry, but it looks like Thursday, there's going to be a uh, shocking situation that develops uh, in your at work or at home. Let's get another card. The Hermit. The Hermit is something is being shown. Now this is shedding the light and this is shedding the light. Something is going to be shown. Somebody's going to be seeing the light in a situation and it's going to affect their permanency it's going to affect their home building a new foundation because one has crumbled which is interesting so this is a, something may happen that may cause you make you feel like you need to re retreat right you need to withdraw you need to completely go within 
somebody may need some alone time on Thursday. This 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 tower could be, you know, um, a fight or an accident or something that happens that uh, causes chaos, causes upheaval, and basically forces somebody into isolation. It doesn't force them, but causes the person to retreat, to think about what just happened. So something could happen. You know, it's like Wednesday they get together, and on Thursday there's a freak out session. Um, Friday, six of coins reversed and the moon. So not giving no reciprocation all is not as it seems somebody's not going to be reciprocating they're not going to be giving six of pentacles reverse somebody could be getting you know fired or um, there's an abuse of power here all is not as it seems you need to be careful Somebody is not going to be giving what they were giving. And this could be even losing losing money. This is always not as it seems. Something is about to be shown that could affect your finances. Being taken away. Something being not hopefully nobody's going to get fired or be, become unemployed. The Six of Pentacles reversed is... Uh, an injustice there's something there's an injustice here not being treated fairly there's something hidden there's hidden forces here that is taking something away I don't know if it's a job or money unseen problems there are some unseen problems here you may have some haters you may have some haters that are stealing from you or taking from you this is Friday there's some unseen problems with money on Friday whether it's with you or the person that you're dealing with so be prepared for that. Something is going to happen. Something is going to happen that is going to affect your your money in some way. Somebody may have given you something with strings attached, you know? This is like strings attached charity and you didn't see it and now they're they come in with looking for a freaking handout. So somebody may be looking for a handout. They're wanting to be paid back or something like that and it's a shock to you you're going to be dealing with some shocking event this is a life event that is shocking okay that happens on thursday so thursday may be a day where you know you need time out you need to you need and it happens at home whatever this is it happens at home or what happens in your establishment it could be at work it could be at home but there's going to be an event that happens that causes you to wake up per se, because this is a rude awakening and this is an awakening. So it's going to really uh, wake you up and make you see something differently. So Thursday is a pretty prominent day. It's a, it's a life-changing event right here. And then on Friday, this is not getting what you thought you were going to get or something being taken away. You didn't see it. You never saw it. You never saw knew that this was going to happen. Um, let's get another card for Friday. There's a liar. Somebody is dealing with a liar. They're dealing with an individual that um, doesn't tell the truth. You need to look a little bit deeper. You need to look a little bit deeper. Five of coins reversed. Abandoned. Getting abandoned. Getting ghosted. Five of coins reversed. Not getting the money that you thought you were going to get. It could be a shock. It could absolutely be a shock. This is a major loss or a turning point. Could be total ruin with the five of coins reverse. All is not as it seems. Something could happen on Friday that makes you realize that somebody that you're working with or wherever you work or somebody that you're dealing with, you know, is stealing from you or they're, uh, they abuse their power. They aren't giving you what they said they were going to give you. There's definitely a, a uh, major loss here i'm sorry with this i mean this is financial loss in some way on, on friday
somebody's wearing a disguise. Anyhow, Saturday. Justice. Justice is final. This is final. Everything turning out as it should. This could have something to do with a contract or legal issues or something like that. Everything turning out as it should. Four of Spears, something about a commitment, something about a marriage, um, signing a contract. This is for Friday, Saturday, Saturday, signing a contract, talking about a marriage, um, getting in a commitment of some sort, seven of coins, investing, thinking about uh, moving, thinking about um, going someplace else. There could be a celebration on Saturday. Um, a gathering. Somebody could be going to a gathering. This is a finality. It's finally over. And, and uh, this is also a card of karma. This is investing. This, this is all, whenever I see the seven of coins, I think of a season. It's time to relocate. It's time to go someplace time to go someplace else so there could be relocation on the table on Saturday where somebody is thinking about relocating they've been waiting they've been waiting for something to happen and perhaps it's time it's finally time it's finally time to go There's a need to be honest and upfront about your intentions on Saturday. There could be an unexpected fortune that is co coming and you just need to be patient. Be patient. Everything is going to turn out as it should. So I think on Saturday you are going to be getting together i think you're going to be getting together with somebody that you have been investing in or investing with it's going to be a happy time but you're worried something has happened beforehand that really worries you and i'm here to tell you that everything is going to turn out as it should it is so i think on saturday this is the celebration there's going to be a celebration on saturday finally it's you finally it's finally time you're finally going to get something that you've been waiting for on Saturday Sunday the hangman reversed and death look at that those are both major cards so these are universe cards this is an ending endings lead to new beginnings so this is a new beginning here profound change the hangman refuses we got one person here that refuses to change is struggling to let go that is obsessed with control that's why we have control you have to surrender so some and, and hiding something is prominent here so we have an individual that has been hiding something whoever has been hiding something i think that they are about to experience an ending. Whatever they've been hiding is about to be revealed. This is missing an opportunity for a new beginning. Death is renewal. It's a transition. It's a transformation. It's a separation. Somebody has been avoiding a separation, but it's over. So Sunday we have an ending with a new beginning to follow. This individual that is obsessed with control, I think they're being freed. Perhaps they've been enlightened and they're in their they've learned some sort of lesson that they refused to learn in the past. Death is a profound change, it's a new beginning after a separation and a loss so you are going to be starting on a new journey after learning a lesson that took a really long time to learn you've been waiting and you've been stuck in this predicament for so long and it's finally over so whatever it is whatever you have been stuck in that was costing you money or not bringing you the money or whatever it is it's over 
it's time to start over so you are I think you're moving by the end of the week the struggle is over you're on a new path you're gonna be getting what you've been waiting for you've been waiting for this you've been waiting for this gathering you've been waiting for this celebration you've been waiting to get what you deserve you've been waiting for justice you've been waiting for this payout you've been waiting for uh, this to start and finally by the end of the week you're gonna hear some sort of news that says you're good you're good to go you're free you're you're or it's time it's time for you to live again it's time for you to pick back up it's time for you to start back up by the end of the week I think that your new life begins and I think that you whatever you've wherever you've been stuck and stagnant and there's been a huge delay and you thought you were never gonna make it I think all of that ended for a reason because your new beginning is here so so by Sunday we have a major new beginning a major transition this is a new life it's a new life after being stagnant after being stuck after being hung up by something waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting finally it's time so by Sunday I think you're gonna hear some news that uh, you're free to start back up or start over or something like that you've been under somebody else's control and maybe it was the government but now it's over and it's time for you to um, start over that's what it feels like to me it feels like you're gonna be starting fresh and I don't need the fool card to see that I think you've been through a, a troublesome situation where you know you may have lost some money or you've lost some business or you've lost your your uh, groove or whatever it is um, and I think it's because you were under somebody else's control, but I think that that you're being freed. I really do. I, I see. I see being freed, being freed from that control, being freed to live again, being freed to start fresh, being freed to to celebrate. It's finally over. I feel like it's finally over, and and you're and, and you're ready. You're ready to uh, reap the rewards of your hard work. Okay. Good luck.